What's up guys? This is going to be a, as quick and dirty of a video as possible to get you through the setup for Universe Radio. Note the missing E there. Uh, not sure why. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to go ahead and start from the beginning. You'll need to go to this web address which you can see highlighted now in the upper left. You're then going to want to, once you get to that website, click on the We'll go to the home page here because I think that's where it will take you. You're going to click on Universe Radio and then you're going to hit download. This is going to get you on the latest version. So you'll see there's several steps here that we've already uh, probably have covered. The prerequisites of the Digital Combat Simulator is up to date and installed. That can be Stable Branch, Open Alpha, or Open Beta. In this case, we're sending it up for Open Alpha, since that's our squad's most used version. TeamSpeak 3 will need to be the 64-bit client, so if you're on a, the latest version of TeamSpeak, you're good. Now, most of you guys will probably already have the uh, re redistributable uh, Microsoft C++ packages, but you, if you think you may not have that installed, that is a prerequisite. Then you're going to go ahead and download and, and install Universal Radio's client. Make sure to run that as administrator here. You'll also need to download the Caucus Relief Map version 1 and the Nevada Tested Training Relief Map version 1. Once you get that down, run it as administrator. And I'm not going to do it since it's already installed, but you'll want to install Universe Radio uh, Client first, run as administrator. You'll then want to install the NTTR relief map again as administrator and then finally you can go ahead and do the caucus relief map. We'll close that out. Okay, so once we have installed, we're going to go to the configuration page and make sure we tick all the boxes here. So just go ahead and click that. Okay, so we have it installed now. So we're going to go ahead and go to your start menu, all programs click for Universal Radio and we in this case are going to run as administrator on Universe Control Panel for Open Alpha. Now yours will not look like this. Yours is going to be blank but the first step you'll need to do is up at the top you're going to need to hit install. It's going to give you a confirmation that the export for Universal Radio has been installed. You can check your DCS export to make sure that it's good to go. So that's an install check. Now we're going to proceed to the configurations. You'll need to make sure that your joysticks and uh, flight hardware is plugged in for this. So in the A10, if you're using the Hotas Warthog, I can't advise on other sticks. Uh, if you want to have the proper radio configuration, you're going to need to set uh, button 4, which is forward on your mic switch. Button 2, or radio 2, is downward on your mic switch and radio one is aft on your mic switch and that'll get you uh, correctly configured what that'll do is kind of like the Ares program we used to use hitting any of those buttons that you bind will select one of your three radios and aircraft that are so equipped if it's only two or one radio aircraft then one and two will be your primary radios now this is for the external radio I'm going to show you guys what that looks like if it'll launch without the sim up Basically, it's just a 2D uh, text or graphic representation of your radios. This is for aircraft that don't have built-in cockpit radios you can configure with fully clickable cockpits. So Flaming Cliffs 3 aircraft or something a little more simple like the MiG-21, this would be uh, handy to have. When you launch it, it'll come up with an appropriate skin for the aircraft. That also works for combined arms. So you can set up some hotkeys or bindings to hide and show those windows. You can also set up hotkeys to change channels. As we move down here, you'll want to make sure that the output for your radio communication is correct. And while we're talking about that, you'll find that you have the ability in Universe Radio to select whether you hear the radio in your left, right, or center speaker or earphone output. I really like this. I have my Radio 2 uh, on left and my Radio uh, one and three on right so I have an idea of which radio is talking to me and it can make things less confusing so I recommend you change that to your liking make sure your output is set for squadron use we're going to leave this box unchecked what exclusive means is when somebody is in your team speak channel 
and they are not in the aircraft. You, if you have exclusive checked, you will not be able to hear them. If you have it unchecked, you will be able to hear somebody in the TeamSpeak channel who is not in an aircraft or on a radio. They just won't have any effects. Secure codes, we're going to not mess with any of this. This is for IFF and encryption. Then finally, channel preset. If you fly aircraft besides the A-10 or the other full fidelity aircraft with advanced radios, or if you fly something that's full fidelity like the Hawk, the MiG-21, or the L-39, you can use this to edit what the preset channels will be uh, frequency-wise. So it's pretty self-explanatory and very uh, simple and uh, easy to use. After all that is done, you're going to want to hit Apply. Settings is Applied should come up. Then you're going to hit Exit. At this time, you have configured uh, Universe Radio. We're now going to go to TeamSpeak 3. Right now, I'm going to go to our uh, Black Knights channel. And there's a couple things we need to do in TeamSpeak 3. Now, at this point, you're going to need to go to Settings. Or I'm sorry. Yes, Settings, Plugins and you will not be checked here you're going to need to check your universe radio box it's going to reload the plugin and you can close that out and at this point i recommend that you restart teamspeak 3 which we'll do and reconnect okay so now we're reconnected now we're going to go to options here on our settings go ahead and bind your push to talk unlike aries your push to talk in TeamSpeak automatically binds as your push to talk in Universe Radio. There's no need to bind an extra push to talk key. So, in this, uh, after this point, you're good to go on push to talk. You're going to go ahead and just confirm that Universe Radio is showing up under your plugins drop down, which it is. You'll see we have a few options here. We don't use ATC mode. This is for if you get the full version, you can activate your license. And then finally, the top is change exclusive mode. If you remember the checkbox check that gave you the option to hear people in the channel who weren't in aircraft, you can do that on the fly with this uh, option here. Okay, so if you click on your name in TeamSpeak, you should now see Universe Radio status, not connected, unlicensed. Now, Universe Radio will not allow you to transmit in the default channel when you enter a TeamSpeak server, so we're going to go to Guard. And I'm going to pause the video for a second here and get the sim up, and then I'm going to show you what Okay, you we're back, guys, and at this sim. point, the A-10 is uh, starting up on the rift in the background, so don't mind that. What I want to show you is in TeamSpeak, if you click on your name, you'll now see that connected, uh, once you're in the sim and in the pit, you'll now see under Universe Radio Status Connected, and then you'll also see what frequencies you're monitoring. And as the A-10 comes alive here on auto start, I'm going to show you guys what you should be seeing once your radios have power. And remember, your radios will have to be powered and on in the sim for them to function in Universe Radio. Now I just push the mic switch down to select my middle radio, and you'll notice that the uh, A-10, or that Universe Radio and TeamSpeak highlighted 251 UHF. So we now have that frequency selected. And if I hit my mic transmit button, you'll see I'm transmitting. Now I'm going to push mic switch forward. We've now selected 124, the AM radio. Again, I'll push push to talk to transmit. Finally, mic switch F puts us on 30 FM. Again, mic switch will transmit. So at this point, guys, you are good to go, and you should have no trouble using Universe Radio in the sim. This video should have covered everything, but if you're watching this and you're a member of the squadron, make sure you go over the NOTAM in detail to make sure it's all covered. Thanks for watching.